The audio console has four stereo effects returns. Into these effects returns, we feed the outputs from our most used effects units. However, each audio studio has more than four effects units. When there are no more effects returns available, the outputs from remaining effects units are returned on the patch bay. From here, they can be physically patched into a spare channel. So, firstly, we will patch the output from the JHS delay into a spare effects return in Audient CB204. This is stereo return 3. As the delay has a mono output, this will need to be patched into a parallel socket on the patch bay. Next, connect two patch cables from the adjacent parallel outputs to stereo input 3, left in and right in. Ensure that auxiliary master 5 is turned up and that stereo return 3 is up, its gain is turned up and the mix button is pressed in. Turn up auxiliary 5 on the channel you wish to send to the unit and ensure the 11-12 button, SF and PRE buttons are not pressed in. We can also use the same technique to patch the outputs from the nanoverb units. However, as these have stereo outputs, then the left and right signals can be patched directly into the stereo return. Again, we need to make sure that the auxiliary master send is up and the stereo return 3 level and gain are up and the mix button is pressed in. As we can see on this diagram, the nanoverb units in Audient 204 are being fed by auxiliaries 7, 8 and 9. So, in order to send a signal from a channel to the effects units, we need to make sure that buttons 7, 8 and 9 on the auxiliary section are pressed in.